Malo and welcome to Season 4, Episode 20 of Breakfast Bites by Tevovosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on this bright and beautiful Saturday morning, 21 January 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In Rugby Union, Wallabies fullback Kirtley Beale has been charged by police over an alleged sexual assault of a 28-year-old woman in Bondi on 17th December. Beale is charged with two counts of sexually touching another person without consent and sexual intercourse without consent. Meanwhile, in the Hamilton Sevens this weekend, Fiji plays France at 8.32 a.m., Kenya at 12 midday before playing Samoa in their final pool game at 3.06 p.m. Samoa play Kenya at 8.54 a.m. and France at 12.22 p.m. before their clash against Fiji. The New Zealand All Black Sevens play Tonga at 9.16 a.m. Australia at 1.06 p.m. and their final pool game is against Great Britain at 6.35 p.m. The men's cup quarterfinals will start at 9.58 a.m. on Sunday. Uh, in the Hamilton Sevens women's competition, Team Fijiana plays Great Britain at 10.22 a.m., New Zealand at 2.12 p.m., and Papua New Guinea at 5.37 p.m. today, while the Silver Ferns play Papua New Guinea at 10.44 a.m. before they face Fijiana and then play Great Britain at 7.03 p.m. in the last game of the night, day one, Hamilton Sevens. Looking forward to that. In Rugby League, former Manly and Tour Samoa enforcer Marty Taupau is reportedly set to link with the Broncos for 2023 after the 32-year-old's $800,000 contract with the Sea Eagles was not renewed. Red Hill beat the Eels and Rabbitohs to his signature. Meanwhile, the Parramatta Eels have suffered a double injury, injury blow with crack centre and Fiji Mbati at that, Wangam Blake breaking his arm and now racing the clock for round one. In sports biz, last year the NFL crashed the NBA Christmas Day party with a triple header which dominated the TV ratings. In total, the three NFL Christmas Day games averaged 22.9 million television viewers against the NBA's five games on ABC and ESPN, which averaged only 4.3 million TV viewers. And in football, Manchester City produced a stunning second-half comeback to beat Tottenham 4-2 yesterday. Two goals in three minutes just before halftime by Spurs saw City staring down the barrel of a second consecutive defeat. But Julian Alvarez, Erling Haaland, who else, and Riyad Mahrez struck early in the second period, with Mahrez adding his second late on to save Pep G the strain. In boxing, he's one of those guys that would give you the opportunity because you deserve it, or give you the opportunity because you need it, or give you the opportunity because you want to look after your family. He's just one of those guys who would do anything for you if he could. Kiwi Samoan boxer Joseph Parker angling for a big payday fight against his good mate, the Gypsy King. In the Pacific, it's like, hey bro, how about we just fight for fun? For TableForSports.com, I'm Kaldan Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all too much for all your love and support.